Hey everyone, got a fun project planned for uh, a couple of videos I'm gonna do here. Um, I tried it out. I've wanted to do this pen for a really long time, um, ever since Carl Jacobson did one. Um, it's basically out of Fordite, which if you don't know, Fordite is uh, layered car paint um, from, from car factories that they just spray and it is on uh, some angle iron or whatever their, uh, their fixtures are that hold the car parts and spray. And it builds up over time and they chip it off and uh, it's all sorts of different colors um, i bought uh, some fordite from a, uh, some guys from uh, off instagram uh, hawks next hawks nest customs and uh, layer creations i'll link uh, their uh, instagram in the uh, description there but i did a test run on this guy so i bought some burl um, and i uh, cut a piece of uh, fordite there and I thought it needed an outline, so I have some uh, 132nd G10 spacer uh, left over from the knife I made. And uh, I thought that looked really nice with a little spacer there. Uh, got it out of a piece of burl. This is the same wood, just didn't use the whole thing. Um, when I bought some burl wood, uh, I got it from a Bad Dog Burl Source, I think is the website. And I bought about 10 uh, burl blanks. Here's all of them, uh, the various grades, some olive wood, some uh, molly, I think he's, yeah, morel or something, uh, box elder. And then the prettiest, in my opinion, out of this bunch is this flame box elder that was free for my order. Uh, it was the first time I ordered from them, and I ordered so much that they thought, hey, he uh, gets this free one. In my opinion, that is the prettiest one that I got. Um, very close with this morel and uh, some other ones but uh, I believe it's stabilized just by the way it feels um, the, the heft to it um, so I think it's stabilized I think this guy was also stabilized if I'm not mistaken so I wanted to put it on a nicer pen I had this pen kit lying around um, the pen kit I'm putting on is this one this isn't the same pen this is a segment and one I did uh, but it's a black titanium roller ball. Um, it's postable, so you can, uh, you know, when you're writing, you can do that. But uh, I like this kit. It's beefy. It's nice. And if you line the threads up right, the wood lines up as well. I used this kit for my groomsman gifts when I got married. Um, made them all matching pens. This is the kit right here. Got it from uh, exoticblanks.com. Uh, Ed, he's a super helpful guy. I love ordering from him. I love supporting him. He's out of Wisconsin. Um, so this is the kit. It takes a 12, 12 and a half millimeter drill bit and a 10 and a half millimeter drill bit. This is their Junior Gent, if I haven't mentioned that. Uh, their Junior Gent 2 Rollerball and Black Titanium. So I'll use this kit um, with this uh, pen blank, these spacers, and this Fordite. Um, this is a really thick Fordite. I mean, you see the pen, it's going to take up almost half of the pen. So I am actually going to get two pens out of this. I'm going to first drill a hole, um, uh, 12 and a 12 and a half millimeter hole. Then I'm going to second drill a 10 and a half millimeter hole, cut those out on my scroll saw and then cut them in half this way. So I get two spacers out of the Fordite. Uh, for each each barrel so you got one barrel. This is a ten and a half. This is a twelve and a half So I'll get two or two pens out of this four uh, tubed uh, pieces and then of course I'll Laminate sandwich those um, Which would be this way sandwich those between the black g10 just for uh, defining the uh, uh, inlay material and then I'll cut this up after I have this all glued and uh, and uh, uh, trimmed up and everything in square. So, you know, there was some steps. I did give this pen a lot of thought before I put it together, um, making sure I actually glued the Fordite on first, left the, the, you can see it's not perfectly centered, but I left the Fordite on, glued the Fordite on first, trued it up, squared it this way to the brass, uh, glued on the, um, the G10, and then I squared up the, uh, the wood, make sure that uh, they're perpendicular with the axis of the hole that I drilled and make sure everything lined up because, you know, you didn't want any space in between there because if you start turning it 
and a gap will all of a sudden appear. So if you look real closely, I feel he did like a pretty good job squaring everything and uh, it all lines up. It's very nice and flush. Uh, but, uh, and also I didn't really put a polish on this. I sanded it, just put my wax friction polish on there. Don't like how it turned out. So I'm gonna do a little bit nicer job on this one. Take my time a little bit and uh, actually sand this up to 12,000 grit using the mesh pads and then put some plastic polish on it. Uh, this is a big build. So I think I'm gonna do, you know, two or three part video, but I just wanted to explain what I'm doing with it. And uh, we're gonna head outside in the freezing cold weather right now and uh, drill it and get it prepped up. Okay, so I got my uh, holes laid out where I want them. Left plenty of room um, for turning it. Also, I forgot to mention, when you're working with Fordite, collect your shavings because I've got a cool idea for these in the future uh, once I have enough. So I'll, uh, once I drill, I put this clean board on there so I can get as much shavings as possible. So um, go ahead and go ahead and drill them. Start with the smallest and then go to the 12 and a half and then uh, get my shavings. Then I'll drill at the G10 uh, just because I'm here and I'll save, time, save some time and then cut them out and then uh, glue them on my, uh, my brass uh, barrels.
Okay, so while gluing these up, actually while cutting these, I realized I needed two of each, and I only drilled one of each, uh, one for each side, basically. So I'm gonna go outside. I won't. I'll bury you and uh, not film it, but uh, re-drill the holes and then cut them out. Uh, I, that's good actually because it'll give these times to get guys some time to dry even though I use some activator I'm gonna wait longer than they say uh, just because Fordite's rather expensive um, uh, I bought it at 50 cents a gram um, so you know it, it's not a, the cheapest material to work with um, and it's rare to find big chunks of pieces especially that thick uh, if I really wanted to I could have used this whole thing and put like one pen blank out of it. Doing it this way, I got two pen blanks and they're on a nicer pen kit and a roller ball, which is a very smooth writing um, pen refill. So I'm gonna redrill these guys, let those time to dry, and uh, we might wrap up the video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add more in this one or the next one. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm actually gonna wrap up the video here. Um, I have uh, quite a few more steps that I gotta do still, and I just figured I'll just save it for another video. Um, next things to do are to trim these up, trim, make them concentric with the tube, uh, and that will be done on the lathe, and then uh, square up the shoulder here, if you could call it that and then uh, cut my blank, drill my blank, and then uh, square my blank. And then at one, at one go, I'm gonna glue on the spacers and the wood. So I'll do that in the next video. Uh, if you guys could uh, um, keep an eye out for that one, uh, follow up on the video and see the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.